Hey, it's Kevin here, back in old Oxted, England. We got ourselves a nice little pheasant here that was shot down yesterday in old Oxted, England. And uh, it was a nice day of hunting, bird shooting, as some people will say. And uh, it's a pretty good sized pheasant here. We're going to get some good, tasty meat off it. So today, we're going to just go after uh, the, the legs and the breast, see if we can maximize the amount of meat we cut. So before you do anything, some people like to just cut the wings off. I, uh, I generally just uh, leave them on, but uh, some people like to cut them off. It gets to be easier. Some people like to ratchet the neck down so they really can tug at it. But me, I just grab the legs and start to pull the feathers back and expose that breast. It happens pretty easily with a pheasant. Ducks are a little bit different, but look how quickly that skin just peels off just grab that just pull it away and you just start to expose one nice looking breast of a pheasant look at that everybody's got their own little special cooking methods for pheasant and i'll leave that to each individual chef but boy if you can get at that look at that meat that is one nice piece of meat and Everybody's, again, each cook got his own little, uh, but if you get the meat right, keep a nice little thing of water so you can get rid of some of the feathers that stick to your hands. But look, if you get right at that meat, it's going to just peel right off. Okay, so look at that. Quick, very quick peel. Just start to peel everything away. If you now that sometimes if you really get good exposure to that meat, you really don't need a fillet knife to cut. You can literally take your fingers and pop underneath the meat. Go right at the bone with your fingers, and it will peel right off the breast. And then you go back with your knife get some of the meat you might have left behind because again but look at that with only just your fingers look at that having pulled out the knife and look at the size of that piece of meat that's going to grill up nice put in the little water bin keep going at it with your fingers you got a lot of meat still on both sides and again as you get a little closer to the breast the bone excuse me you're going to want to just grab your knife out because it just simplifies it a little bit. This is a good piece of meat. Again, everyone's got their own little technique. Me, I like to grill up all the meat on a frying pan so it doesn't matter if it's small pieces or big pieces. I like to grill it. I just like to get access to the meat itself. And then I flip it over. Same type of technique with your fingers. Dr drive them right underneath. See how I'm just driving them right underneath. And then you just pull back with your fingers. You can really get at it. And then if you, if you drive your fingers underneath and really claw to that bone itself, uh, it'll just pull back super nicely and we did a little bit better job on this back side on this left side than we did the other side again keep a keep a nice water bin clear some of that some of the pellets out of there and then you get exposure go right after that leg see a lot of people just throw it away but look at the size of that leg meat don't throw it away go after it Every piece of meat counts in some of these birds. And a good sized pheasant definitely feeds two people pretty well. Sometimes three, sometimes one. Some people are pretty hungry. But here, we're going to get, again, if you notice how I'm not using the knife a whole lot, because you can really get at this meat with your fingers and really pull away. Okay. Look at that. See, really pulled it away with my fingers only. 
see that? Keep pulling away some of that hair from that, I should say, the feathers. Keep your sink close by. Rinse it off. Look at the size of that. That is something you just don't throw away. Again, like I said, some people just go right after the breasts. But I like the legs. You can just snap that leg right off if you want, or you can cut it. But you can see, you twist it right, it'll just come right off. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. There we go, right there. Put that in the water, rinse it up, stick it in the bin. Flip it over. We're almost done here. Doesn't take long. Same thing with the other side. Really dive in, make sure you're getting the whole piece. Don't try not to waste this piece. I'm a, I like the legs. And then you just get right at that. Use your fingers. Use your fingers. You don't need. Other people can fillet those pretty quick, but you don't need to. You can just dive in with your fingers. See that? How that was pulled right off? You can just pull that. Look how that just pulls right back. Expose a nice piece of leg meat. Rinse that off in the sink. Look at the size of that. That's a nice pheasant leg meat, and that is going to be tasty. Assuming I cook it right, right? Again, twist, snap, turn a bit, and then pull away. Okay, I'm going to the knife here. Just make it a little easier. There we go. Bingo. Look at that size of that. So, carcass to the pin. Meat right here. Cooking. That's where all the magic's made. Best of wishes.